I am Sifu Funky Monkey. Welcome to my dojo of love. Yes, we're looking over another Chop Socky film today. But since I haven't really broadened my horizons on this front since Kung Fu Panda, we're taking a look at its sequel, Kung Fu Panda 2. Released in 2011, Kung Fu Panda 2 continues the story of the Dragon Warrior and the Furious Five, taking a look into Poe's mysterious origins. But this time our hero is up against the gunpowder-obsessed Peacock, who dreams to rule all China. It's an all-new adventure for the legendary heroes, and it even got the thumbs up from audiences. But will it pass muster with this master? Well, let's find out as we return to the Valley of Peace for another heapin' helpin' of martial arts mayhem with... Kung Fu Panda 2. We're immediately introduced to our main villain, the precocious peacock, Lord Shen. Long story short, Lord Shen wanted all of their powers. So a soothsayer predicted that a panda would defeat him. Only then he went down to the panda village and killed them all and was promptly banished for his troubles. Except for the small fact that... Oh, well, actually, we'll get to that. <laughs> You'll see for yourself. The scene then shifts to the Valley of Peace and our heroes. The next challenge of the Dragon Warrior is to find inner peace. But there's no time for that when a pack of bandits come looking for metal. Danger. Tell those musicians to start playing some action music. Poe and the others leap into battle. But then... Po! Oh! Crikey! I felt that one from here! Poe's loss of focus leads him to his adoptive father's noodle shop. Where did I come from? You... might have been kind of... Uh, adopted. I knew it! Pretty obvious, really, all things considered. But the legend of the Dragon Warrior doesn't end there. It doesn't start there either. But there's trouble in Gongmen City, as Shen faces down the three Kung Fu Masters to reclaim his palace. What do you want, Shen? What is rightfully mine. The Dragon Warrior and the Furious Five are dispatched to Gongmen, but by the time they arrive, Lord Shen has already retaken the palace, and the streets are rife with his footmen. We need to get to that tower without being spotted by those wolves. But pandas were never built for stealth. Acting on a tip, our heroes break into Gongmen Jail, with a view to breaking out the surviving masters. But those masters seem surprisingly intent on remaining imprisoned. But if we stand up to Shin, he will turn the weapon on the city. You are not getting me out of the cell! It is known that you should always put your faith in the Dragon Warrior. Too bad Masters Ox and Croc just fall into another cell straight after. Ah well, their loss. And when trouble arrives in the form of the One-Eyed Wolf from the Bandit Raid, our heroes pursue. Right into Shen's trap. Poe is brought before Shen. We meet at Hey, how you doing? who has clearly underestimated the Dragon Warrior. Never underestimate the Dragon Warrior. That was Tai Lung's mistake, and he got skidooshed. Poe has repressed his memory of the massacre. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> the very thing that you clearly do not know! But then it happens again! You... you were there. Yes. Lord Shen escapes. Bring it down! But so do our heroes. 
Shen mobilizes his forces. We're loading ships now. The truth. He knows what happened. Where I came from. And so the Furious Five leap into action once more. To protect an insistent dragon warrior. You looking for me? I said that too soon, didn't I? But all Shen's lies lead to... No more running, Shen! ...is a hit so hard that Grandmaster Shifu feels it. <gasps> Someone should tell Master Shifu that feeling disturbances in the Force doesn't work in this universe. Or does it? But even this isn't enough to put down a panda, as the soothsayer nurses our hero back to health... <laughs> and provides the answers he seeks. So instead of changing his fate, Lord Shen's pandicide only sealed it. Like the soothsayer said at the beginning, really. <laughs> oh well, guess there's something in this soothsaying. And in remembering, the dragon warrior finds his inner peace. <coughs> I am Poe, and I'm gonna need a hat. The Dragon Warrior takes the fight to the pernicious Peacock. But Shen is ruthless and fires through his own. It's not enough to stop the Dragon Warrior though, who uses his inner peace for an improbable purpose. But even in defeat, Lord Shen won't go quietly. Crushed by a cannon. Not the end I'd wish for. But anyway, let's move on to happier circumstances. Denouement! And so our movie ends back in the Valley of Peace. But shock! The Panda Village Massacre wasn't! So that was Kung Fu Panda 2. And after much meditation, I have decided to put this one into the House of Love. Why change your working formula? More hyperfluid kung fu, more pathos, the same mix of meaning and metaphor, and even more martial arts royalty as Jean-Claude Van Damme voices Master Croc, and a very important lesson in the futility of ambition. Which is somewhat ironic, because this sequel will leave you wanting more adventures with the Dragon Warrior and the Furious Spy. Lesson is ended, go in peace. I have been your tutor, Sifu Funky Monkey, wishing you peace, unity, and better quality noodles with thicker, spicier sauce. Shema Diora, Huojimen.